Anybody there? I asked you for help, and I still haven't heard from you. It's just... It's frustrating, you know? I mean, here I am, an angel sent down here by you to do a job, to protect Lucy and stop Caleb. Only, here's the thing. I can't do this job because of all these... Forgive me, but all these really lame rules I gotta follow. Now, Caleb's regaining his power, and, and I can't do a thing to stop him. So, so you tell me, what's the point here, huh? I, I mean, why did you just send me down here blindfolded with my hands tied behind my back? Hello? Is anybody listening? Can anybody hear me? <laughs> well, if you can, <laughs> hear this. This job sucks! Hey, are you hearing me? I don't really care what Sinatra is doing. I need a real hard ass for this assignment, and he's it. It's about time. What the hell are you on? I'm busy. Uh, I've been trying to reach you for days, sir. See, it's about this assignment. What about it? Truth be told, sir, I'm not really happy with it. See, it's these rules. Excuse just, me? Um... You're not really happy? You asked for this assignment. You begged me for it. I know, sir. You said you wanted to rid the world of this uh, dirt bag who took your life? This vampire, remember? C C Caleb, yes. You said you'd uh, do whatever it took, whatever it needed. Oh, that, that, that's true, sir. Yeah, that's but great. I, you can get back to work. I can't do that. You can't what? See, things have changed, sir. I, I can't just guide Lucy anymore. Caleb's too powerful. She needs to be warned. They all do. They need to know that he's coming back. Forget it. <laughs> with all due respect, sir. No, with all due respect, that's not the way we work here. Yours is only to steer. You do not drive. That, 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 that's just it. It's all, all these pointless rules. And Caleb, he has none. I mean, what's up with that? Sorry, kid. Deal with it. Fine. If you won't help me, I'll just do this on my own. I'll do whatever I think is necessary to protect these innocent lives. That means to hell with the rules! Sir. You got it all figured out. You got to make all these changes. Tell me how you plan to break all the rules, huh? Well, first off, I, I just warned Lucy and all the others that Caleb's not dead or undead or whatever but you know i tell him that he's on his way back go on and and then i'd uh i'd find a way to trap him you know and just just end all this once and for all you'd kill him yes to protect these innocent people yeah i think maybe it's uh revenge what? settling a score what? this caleb creep that's what's driving you, isn't it, kid? No. That's why I, I you just... called him out sooner than you should have and gummed up the works. I never meant to do that. I don't care what you meant. He knows what you are. You blew the hell out of your own cover. No, I can still fix things. You see, if it wasn't for these rules... The rules are in place for a reason. They've been there since the beginning of time. But you know better, right? You're not on the job two months. You're going to show us all how it's done. No, it's just that my friend... These people are in so much pain. Well, that's really tough, kid. Because pain is part of life. People grow stronger from pain. They learn from it. You gotta let them make their own decision. Fine, but what if they make the wrong ones? Well, what if Caleb wins? He might. He might. The battle between good and evil is as old as time. Except we got something on our side. Our faith that the good in people's hearts will prevail. And therein lies your challenge, Rafe, my boy. To remind them of what's inside, in here, that counts. You think you can do that, kid? You think you can set aside your hatred for Caleb and help make that happen? Huh? Sorry, sir. I, I, I just, I had to see you. See, I, I've been thinking. That's your um, problem. Thinking you know it all. You still have the case. Yes, I know. Look, I, I screwed up. 
But you know what? The situation in Port Charles has gotten a lot worse since I left. Well, we've already put in the papers for a substitute angel. No, it'll be too late. Come on. I, I won't back in. And I'll play by the rules this time. I swear, j just don't let those people suffer because of my mistake. We can't let Caleb win. A little while ago, you came in here whining about following the, uh, uh what did you call it, the uh, lame rules. What's changed? I have. Look, I, I made a mistake by taking things into my own hands the way that I did. We certainly didn't teach you to improvise. Oh, come on, I need another chance. Okay, okay, you know what, if, if you don't want to do it for me, then, then do it for them, okay? Lucy, Kevin, Ian, Eve, Jack, Libby, all of them, see, they're, they're not just names to me anymore. They're, they're my friends. You should have thought about that before you took on Caleb. It's a team sport, hotshot. I, I just, I can't walk away now. I can't let them down. Please, sir. It's not like you found another replacement. <laughs> Luckily for you, I didn't. You know, I don't know if you're more trouble up here or down there. All right. All right, everybody deserves a second chance. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't you blow it. And remember, the people you're guiding, they have to find the power inside themselves to win the battle. I understand that now. Your power is strong. Their power is stronger. The power of good. Now get the hell out of here before I change my mind.